how to create Jira dashboard for team. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how you can use Jira to create dashboard for your team, either for a software team or a business team. Now before we start, what is Jira and its dashboard? Jira is a popular project management tool used by many teams to track and manage their work. The Jira dashboard is a customizable interface that displays key projects, metrics, reports, and other useful information in a single location. The dashboard provides a high-level overview of your team's progress and helps you quickly identify issues that needs attention. The dashboard can be configured to display various gadgets such as burn-down charts, task list, calendar, and other custom reports. Each user can personalize their own dashboard selecting which gadgets to display and how they should be organized. The dashboard is designed to be flexible and user-friendly, allowing each team member to access the information they need to stay informed and make informed decisions about their work. Now over here right now, we are currently under the Your Work section of Jira. And as you can see, there are different options on the top. There's Projects, Filters, Dashboard, People, and Apps. Under dashboard, you would be able to see all the projects. You would be able to see all the people that are working on specific issues. And then under the filters, this is how you would be able to choose how you want your projects, dashboard, or people to be displayed. Under apps, this is where you can use different apps that would help you make your Jira experience smoother or better. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on dashboard. And then this will show us start, recent, view all dashboard, and create dashboard. Under start, this is where you will be able to see dashboards that you have starred or, and this is similar to pinning dashboards so that you can easily access them or use them later on. We also have the recent over here. Recent is the dashboard that you have recently created. You can also click on view all dashboard. This will redirect us to this page over here where we can see all the created dashboard that we have done before. We could see the name on the left side. This is the name of the dashboard. And as you can see, there's a star over here. We could simply click on this star to remove the star, or you could simply click it once again so that it will be pinned under dashboard over here. Now we could also see the owner or whoever created the dashboard. We could see the viewers from private, public, private over here. We could also see the editors. Now private means that only us, the creator, can edit our dashboard. The same with viewer, only us can view the project. We could also see how many people start our dashboard over here. And by clicking the three dots over here, we have the options such as copy dashboard, rename or share dashboard, change owner, or move to trash. This is very useful if you want to share your dashboard to other people whom you want it to be seen or whom you want to show your report to, but make sure that your viewers are set to public or specific users only. We can also see over here on the top where we can filter the view over here by owner. We could also filter it by project and group. You could also click on the search bar to search for a specific name or owner that you are looking for if there are a lot of dashboard over here and you would find a hard time to look through them one by one. Now to create a dashboard, you can simply click over here on the top right and then this will show us this pop-up over here. Now it will ask us to create a name for a dashboard. I'm going to type in testing video dashboard. It's like that. We could add a description to help us identify the function of this dashboard or what it is for. We could also edit the viewers over here. We could either set it to project, which members of a project will see this. We could also click on all roles, such as administrator. We could also click on add over here and we could click X on it. We could also change the viewers by group, just like that. And then you can select which group can see this, site admins and we could also choose my organization and any login user on our domain over here will be able to view our dashboard. We could also edit the editors to projects just like earlier, group, 
or a specific user. And if you have another member on your JRAP team, this is where you will be able to see them over here. Now, after doing that, you could click on save and now we are redirected over here. And this is where we will be able to edit our dashboard. As you can see here on the right, this is the gadget section. We will be able to add the different gadgets that we will see on our dashboard over here. And as you can see, there's a different categories of gadgets over here. We have gadgets that are specifically for Jira or created by Jira. We have a wallboard type of gadget over here. And we have charts type of gadget over here. The chart type is very useful for reports and progression of different projects. For example, we have a pie chart over here, and this will display the matching issues for projects or filter as a pie chart. We could click on add. And as you can see, the pie chart will be added to our dashboard. And we can see that before it creates it, it's going to ask us to choose a project. Right now, we're going to choose projects and our current project is only the test project over here. We're going to click that. We could also choose a statistic type from assignee to change reason to change type, compass, components, creator, and many more. You could choose any of this and then our pie chart gadget will display the statistics of that specific item. For now, we're going to go with assignee and then we could enable auto refresh, which will update every 15 minutes. And then we could click on save. And just like that, we have our pie chart over here. As you can see, it's also displaying the assignee. 50% of the tasks are unassigned and 50% of the tasks are assigned to me. And by clicking on the total issues over here, we will be redirected to all the different tasks on the specific project that we are showing on our pie chart. We could see the different description of our tasks. We could also see the comments, the history. We could see over here on the right side, the status of the specific task. You could also change it to done. You could also see the workflow and you could also see the assignee, the labels and the reporter. You could also filter on what you want to see over here by clicking on this button that I am clicking. And we can go back to our dashboard over here. And we could also click on the specific names, such as, as my profile over here. And then this will show all the different tasks that is assigned to me. And just like earlier, I could see the different description. I could add an epic by clicking this button over here. I could either connect this to the Slack channel, add a parent. I could move this task, clone or delete it. I could also print, export to XML, export to Word, or I could configure this specific task. Now going back over here, as we can see, there's also options here on the top right. We could see that this is the start option over here. We could also click on refresh to refresh the data being shown on our dashboard. We could click on add gadgets if you want to add more over here. And just like earlier, you could choose anything. For example, I am going to add another one. I'm going to add a filter result by clicking here. And as, as you can see, this is our filter result. You could choose save filter. You could add number of result. You could choose the column to display. And you could also choose the reorder of the fields and also enable the auto refresh and to delete a gadget if you don't want to use that specific gadget you could also click over here on the top right of this box over here and then click on the three dots and you could either change the highlight color as you can see the line on the top would change depending on the color that you chose and then you could rename it and then delete it by clicking on delete we would be able to delete its configuration and we can permanently delete it just like that our gadget is gone you could also rearrange your gadget by, by hold clicking on the gadget and then you can move it around just like that so what we're going to do is we're going to add another gadget for example an activity stream just like that and you could add more by clicking on add more gadgets you could add assigned to me just like that and then you could rearrange all of this by doing that you could make them change position however you want just like that you could also change the layout of your, of your dashboard by clicking on change layout and as you can see here we have one column option two column option three column option and left sidebar and right sidebar 
we could change it to three column option so that we could see our gadgets more easily just like that we could rearrange it so that our assigned to me option is over here on the right side and after editing your dashboard after finalizing everything that you want you can simply click on the done option over here on the top right and just like that your dashboard has been created you can also click on refresh over here so that your data is updated and if you want to change anything on your dashboard you can simply click on edit on the top right this will allow you to edit your dashboard once again and that's it guys that's how you can create a jira dashboard for your team hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching